Hi, and welcome. Thank you for joining us to view a sample of how competitive event round two skill events will take place during the HOSA Virtual International Leadership Conference 2021. For those who participated at ILC last year, this will look significantly different. It also might look significantly different than what you experienced at your state conference as well. By working with some of our corporate sponsors and establishing new relationships, a digital hands-on approach has been developed for online simulations for skill events in the virtual conference. You get to do more than take an online test. Round two for skill events will be conducted through Zoom appointments. Those who qualify for round two will be announced in the VILC virtual platform. Included in the announcement of the round two finalists will be your Zoom link and your specific appointment time. When you join the Zoom link, you will be greeted by competitive event staff members and given further instructions. The CE staff member is there to ensure everything works correctly and answer any questions that you have. Judges will also be on the Zoom appointment live with you to evaluate your skill answers and take note of your verbal responses. You must use a computer for round two skills. A phone or an iPad will not work because you will be given mouse control to move through these digital skill scenarios. So you should plan now that you're going to advance past the round one test and to the skill to the round two skill so that you have access to a computer during the listed round two appointment window. If this is a challenge for you, please contact HOSA CE staff as soon as possible and no later than June 1st. Even though round two finalists won't be posted until after you take the round one test at VILC, HOSA staff needs to know ahead of time if there will be any challenges accessing a computer. Please contact HOSA at HOSA.org to address any concerns with this. This video presentation is designed to walk you through the different aspects that you might see in the round two of various round two skill events. The sample video, as well as the direct link we're about to show you, will be available for you to review and to familiarize yourself with prior to competition in June. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna switch screens. Okay, when you join your scheduled Zoom appointment, you will see a shared screen that looks like this. The CE staff member in charge of this event will give you mouse control through Zoom, so you'll be able to move your mouse on the shared Zoom screen. We prepared this sample skill for you. This is an interdermal injection that comes from the clinical nursing event. We tried to include various types of media content that you might see as indicated by the flashing buttons. Content on each button may include a static photo, videos, audios, links to external websites, links to Google Docs, et cetera. Not all components of this example will be included in each skill, but the sample gives you an idea of what to expect. Each skill event will have a beginning page that will describe the expectations for completion. Click on the star and read the instructions here when you are in your event. You will be completing one skill scenario with a total of 11 items. The scenario is located at the red button at the beginning of the 360 degree image. You may scroll back to reference the home button or scenario at any time. Each of these items are numbered and move in order from left to right as you scroll through the 360 degree image. You will have 12 minutes to complete the items in the scenario. Click the arrow to begin. When you click the arrow, your time will start. All right, so once you've clicked the arrow, you will see you have entered the 360 degree skill environment. You can move around the room by holding your mouse down and dragging. So you can see you can go in a complete circle, you can go up and look at the ceiling, or you can go down and look at the floor. And again, you'll be able to have access to this link so you'll be able to practice before June. The buttons are generally placed from left to right within the environment. So again, they start on this side and they go in order clearly numbered. You're going to always begin with the house button to view the scenario. This is where you will get the skill scenario. This is the same thing that you would have been provided on a piece of paper in person. So that home button is gonna tell you what the skill is that you're to be performing today. So here's a sample of that. 
For personal care and life support skills, the scenario, as well as each individual question item, will both be in text like this on the screen and will have audio attached so that each item is read aloud for competitors. Any audio that is attached to the buttons will start automatically and play automatically for competitors, again, in personal care and life support skills. And one thing you can know is that you can ignore this button and microphone on all of the slides. This is a feature that you'll see every time you um, a button pops up, but it's not enabled for HOSA purposes. So you're going to click on the buttons in order as you move through the environment. The microphone is clicked on next in this example. If for some reason you miss a button, the CE staff member that's on the Zoom with you is there to assist you to go back and click on the correct item in the correct order. Please be assured you are not being judged on how well you can navigate the platform. You are only being judged on how you answer and how you respond to each question. If at any point you get lost within this environment or need assistance, the CE member will be available to assist you. So let's click on this microphone next. Good morning, I'm Barb Smith and I was told to come here for a TB skin test. So you can see this is supplemental information to the scenario. Each subsequent number will have a question or an activity. You are to verbally answer each question for the judge. All answers scored by the judges will be those that the competitor verbally provides. The competitor should attempt to say, my answer is, before each answer to be sure the judge knows the content you're attempting to provide. So in this example for the rest of today, Jan is going to act like the, the competitor and answer the questions for us. Go ahead, Jan. My answer for the size of needle that I would use is 1 8 to 5 8 inch fine gauge 25 to 27 needle. Great. Now we would move to question number two. My answer for the difference between an insulin and a tuberculin syringe is that an insulin syringe is measured in units while a tuberculin syringe is, is measured in hundreds. Perfect. All right, so moving on to question and button number three. In this, you're going to be able to see an example of both an audio file and a video file that has been added to the question button for you. And if needed, you'll be able to replay any videos that are embedded in your skill environment. Which is the correct injection site for this skill? My answer for the correct injection site is C. Perfect. So now we're going to move on to question number four, and Jan's going to be able to show you um, something with her mouse that you'll be able to do in some of the skill events. So step number four shows an example of an embedded video. If video is included in your skill, we may ask you to place your mouse on the requested part of the video that ties to the question. In this example, you must first pause the video in the correct location and Jan will answer the rest. I've stopped the video and I will be giving the injection here. So my answer is the injection would be here underneath the antecubital and one length, one hand length above the wrist. Great. So next we're going to go to steps five through nine, which you can see are combined into one button. And this is where it gets really fun. Our partner Simtix will, pro will be providing simulation activities for some of the skills. So the next five steps will be completed using the Simtix software virtual injection activity. Each screen will ask you to perform a step of the skill. Again, you're going to verbalize every answer for the judge as you go. Judges will be grading the answer you verbally provide. The Simtix software is something that we're using to just enhance the overall experience for our competitors. But again, we are not testing the competitor's knowledge of how well they use Simtix. So as long as the competitor verbalizes the correct answer, it doesn't matter if the simulation software, if they can get it to do the exact thing or if it tells them the score is incorrect. As long as whatever the competitor verbalizes for the judges, that is what will be counted for their score. So next, Jan's going to walk us through these steps through the Simtix software. You'll notice up in the right hand corner, you can either do it on learn or test mode. Obviously, learn's great for your practicing. When you come to do it 
with us at the ILC for round two, then you will go to test mode. So I'm going to tell it that we want to go to text, test mode. We're going to extract the medication from the vial and click on when we reach the required dose. So literally, you just take your mouse, and we know that we want to give 0 0.1. So you're going to pull it down until it reaches that point. When it reaches that point, then you're going to submit. And it'll give you a blue check if you're correct. Adjust the needle bevel, click on reaching the correct position. So we're going to turn the bevel to where the needle is pointing up at the ceiling, you'll see it says my answer's incorrect. Again, like Bergen was saying, we're not gonna worry about that. You just click out of it, continue back. And when you get the needle to where you have it pointed toward the ceiling, then you're gonna submit and say, my answer is it was pointed to the ceiling. I'm gonna adjust the angle of the syringe And my answer is going to be that the angle is 5 to 15. So I'll submit here. Again, if it says it's incorrect, just go past it. Insert the needle to the depth. So I'm going to insert, just pushing on the hand. And I'm going to say the correct answer for this one is that it is into the epidermis where I can see the needle underneath then I'll submit. Then I'm going to decrease the plunger. And I'm going to give all of the medication and that is my answer. I will continue to move the hand until all medication is inserted into the skin. It may take a couple of seconds. And you'll notice that I got 11 out of 15. That is not something for you to worry about. We won't be looking at that. We will be going on what you verbalized for the judges. Perfect. So next we're gonna go to um, button number 10. If the injection is given correctly, what will you see at the site? And that will be either a wheel or a bleb. Either answer is acceptable. In question number 11, or item number 11, you can hear another audio example. I just had my TB skin test. When will I need to return? You will need to return in 24 to 72 hours. So my answer is 24 to 72 hours. And this is an example of a higher level thinking question that has been added to every skill. So each skill will have at least one question that is not taken from the exact skill steps in the guidelines, but that is taken from content that you can that can be found in the event guideline resources. So in the uh, skills that you will go through, that is where your example will end. But for this sample that we're showing you, we have a few extra buttons at the end that we want to show you. So on the sample skill, there's a star button at the end. And this takes you to the judge rating sheet that the judges would use to fill out for this skill. So you're going to be able to see where every question that we just went through for you, where it's taken from. Um, so in this Google Doc that pulls up, you'll see in black text is the question that was asked asked. In red text is the answer that Jan was giving. And then in blue text, you'll see the exact step from the guidelines where that question was taken. So please rest assured that all of the questions we will be asking you are coming straight from the skill step steps in your event guidelines. So if you study those, you should do well. And then again, with question 11, that was the higher level thinking question that was added to this skill example. You'll see the exact page number so that you know that it came from the resource. And then we'll go back to the environment. And we did also want to make sure that we say some special thanks. So the first exclamation point um, is to our premier sponsor, Anatomage, for providing these excellent content that you're going to see in these simulated skill environments. Um, there is a link there that goes directly to the Anatomage website. 
And then also on the second exclamation point, we want to make sure we also thank our elite partner, Simtix, for providing access to the simulation software that you saw us go through. So again, there's a link to the Simtix web website. Um, both of these are amazing partners of HOSA, and we would really encourage our local advisors, especially to go check them out, go to those websites, contact them with any questions or resources that you might be looking for for your classroom. They really do both provide a great product and a great service and they're very supportive of HOSA and just encouraging that next generation of future health professionals so we just can't say thank you enough to both Anatomage and to Simtix. And then finally on this sample only there's a question mark button so if you have any questions about this or about competitive events in general as related to the virtual HOSA International Leadership Conference you can find our emails here on the screen and also you can always find us on the brand new HOSA website online. So thank you so much for being with us today and best of luck to you as you prepare, prepare for HOSA's VILC 2021. Have a great day.